All right, well, thank you everyone for joining us. Good afternoon, I'm Devin Strecker, Vice President for Communications with the Hollywood Partnership. With me today is Joshua Baum, founder and CEO of Hillgard Analytics, who led the data and research analysis for this report. On behalf of the board and directors and staff, I would like to welcome you to the 2021 Q4 Annual Hollywood Market Report Overview. These presentations coincide with the release of each quarterly report, which assesses commercial real estate and local business conditions within the Hollywood Entertainment District and Greater Hollywood. This Q4 report was issued on Friday, January 28th, and it is available on our website at hollywoodpartnership.com. By way of background, the Hollywood Partnership is a nonprofit 501c6 established to manage the Hollywood Entertainment District property-based business improvement district. Its geographic area stretches along the world-famous Walk of Fame and spans historic Hollywood Boulevard from La Brea Avenue Gateway on the west to the Hollywood 101 Freeway on the east. Our property owners and stakeholders re reflect a diverse array of property types, including office, industrial, residential, hotel, retail, and government uses. In fact, more than 600 property owners fund our operations that include cleaning, safety, hospitality, and more. The image on the screen is a map that illustrates the physical boundaries of the Hollywood Entertainment District. The production of this report is made possible by several public and private partners who generously co contributed valuable content. This content includes data, market intelligence, and photography. Content credits are noted throughout the report while a complete source listing is provided on page 50. However, I would like to thank the generous contributions of Cushman and Wakefield, Los Angeles Tourism and Convention Board, the Los Angeles World Airports, and the Los Angeles County Metropolitan Transportation Authority. Section one of this report highlights the programs and achievements of the Hollywood Partnership's four goal committees throughout 2021. Here are place management, place enhancement, stakeholder engagement, advocacy, and economic development programs are explored. Statistics and highlights are given for each, along with the committee, staff, and board members who provided oversight. In section two, the research content is organized around three focal themes visiting Hollywood, living in Hollywood, and working in Hollywood. The theme of this Q4 report is always in style. Now I'm going to turn it over to Joshua to dis discuss the research highlights. Thank you, Devin. We'll first, oh, next slide. Um, thank you, Devin. Um, we'll first look at transit and travel conditions. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic raging on, and the emergence of the Omicron variant towards the end of the year, Hollywood remained a star and has remained a popular destination for local and out-of-town visitors alike. A combination of high rates of vaccinations, the lifting of international travel restrictions, and just in general, a pent-up demand for traveling to visit family and friends resulted in a massive rebound for tra travel at LAX during the historically busy holiday season and overall for Q4 2021 compared to the same time period the year before. Accordingly, the passenger data showed domestic and international air travel went up 58.5% and 62.8% respectively from the fourth quarter of 2020 to the fourth quarter of 2021. You might notice that there was a slight dip in domestic air travel from the third quarter to the fourth quarter of 2021, but we largely attribute that to seasonal factors, mainly that Q3 included the summer travel season. While more variants of COVID could emerge this year, we strongly believe air travel will continue to improve this year. And if efforts to vaccinate the global South are successful, possibly a record breaking year is well within reach. Travel within Los Angeles continues to improve, and that includes our public transportation system. LA Metro operates two B-Line stations within the Hollywood Entertainment District at both Hollywood and Vine and Hollywood and Highland. Ridership on the entire B-Line increased by 18.3% on weekdays, 7.2% on Saturdays, and 21.4% on Sundays between the third and fourth quarters of 2021. 
We expect these numbers to continue to improve as more people feel safe running transit and more TOC program housing products gain approval, get constructed, and eventually get leased out. Pedestrian counts on the Hollywood Walk of Fame continue to improve and have historically mirrored the counts at Santa Monica's Third Street Promenade with a slight edge to the latter during the holiday shopping season. Data for the fourth quarter of 2021 shows that vibrancy on the Walk of Fame has returned to just under 80% of the level measured in the fourth quarter of 2019, the last full quarter between the or the last full quarter before the COVID-19 pandemic started. Let's now take a look at the hotel sector. Next slide, please. Hollywood's hospitality market continues to demonstrate healthy signs of recovery as evidenced by year-over-year -year increases in all the key performance metrics and in almost all the key performance metrics quarter over quarter. Compared to the very slow fourth quarter of 2020, where international tourism was almost non-existent because of all the travel restrictions, hotel occupancy went up 31.3%, the number of rooms demanded went up 55.9%, the supply of rooms on the market went up 14.4%, and the, um, the average night rate went up 35%, and the revenue per available room went up 66.7%. On the investment side, a new luxury hotel, Tommy Hollywood opened in Q4. Constructed on a former surface parking lot, the hotel is Relevant Group's third hotel in the district after the Dream and the Thompson, and features a ground floor restaurant and rooftop bar. Hotel construction also remains strong. There are currently 1,253 hotel rooms in the pipeline within the Hollywood Entertainment District. In fact, of that, you know, that 1,253 hotel rooms in the pipeline, 134 of them are currently under construction as we speak. This slide displays the hotel development activity within the area. For more detailed stats on each development project, please visit the development activity summary located on pages 52 to 55. This same table will include multifamily and office activity as well. Let's now take a look at the health of the multifamily rental market. Hollywood continues to command itself as a desirable neighborhood to call home. Accordingly, multifamily housing products continue to progress and spring up in the Hollywood Entertainment District, many of whom are taking advantage of the incentives offered in the City of LA's TOC programs, such as more density and a reduction of minimum parking requirements in exchange for providing more affordable housing. Recently delivered developments such as the Jardine and Wallace on Sunset are well underway leasing their new units to tenants. Rental rates in Hollywood have also rebounded and remain higher than the LA citywide average. During Q4 2021, the average monthly market rate rent reached $2,860 per month within the Hollywood Entertainment District, which was $314 more than it was during the same quarter last year, Q4 2020. This price increase reflects continued confidence of multifamily investors. Also of note, the vacancy rate within the Hollywood Entertainment District dropped 5.9 percentage points from the fourth quarter of 2020, reflecting a rebound in demand to live in one of LA's most storied neighborhoods. Furthermore, 44.9% of residential units currently under construction within the Hollywood Entertainment District's boundaries are set aside for low, very low, or extremely low-income households. On your screen is a map that identifies the names of locations of multifamily housing developments in the pipeline Greater Hollywood a bunch of them located within the bids boundaries. As you can see, there are 45 projects that are either seeking entitlement, entitled, or undergoing construction. The breakdown is as follows, 13 under construction, 15 entitled, and 17 are currently seeking entitlement. 
In this final section of the report, we examine office and ground floor retail conditions. Hollywood's appeal as a desirable business address remains strong. At the end of Q4 2021, Hollywood's office inventory contained nearly 5 million square feet of space. Overall, asking rent stood at $4.78 per square foot during the fourth quarter of 2021, which was up 16 cents year over year. In terms of vacancy, the Hollywood market is not immune to the challenges faced by submarkets all across Los Angeles and really the nation for that matter, due to the pandemic and the proliferation of work from home. Accordingly, vacancy rates remain less than ideal at 28.4%. And that figure is actually 7.3 percentage points higher than it was during the same time period one year earlier. We remain optimistic though that there will be a mass return to the office when it is safe to do so. And now I will turn over the remainder of this presentation back to my colleague, Devin. Take it away, Devin. Thank you so much, Joshua. One new office development is currently under construction in the HED. Bardis Investment Group's Echelon at 6344 Fountain is billed as the first cross-laminated timber and steel product in Hollywood. Bringing approximately 60,000 square feet of creative office space to the HED, Echelon will utilize both existing and new structures. On the screen is a map of current office development projects. Throughout the pandemic, the Hollywood Partnership has regularly conducted a survey of the operational status of businesses within the district. Overall, businesses have been reopening their doors, and as of the publication of this report, 61.5% of ground floor businesses are operational. It is worth noting, though, that the percentage of businesses open within the Hollywood Entertainment District varies tremendously by retail type, as shown on this chart. In Q4 2021, Hollywood welcomed five new retail businesses to the district, which are identified on the screen. Of note, Superba Food and Bread and Grandmaster Recorders both renovated historic structures for large-scale food and beverage operations. For a complete directory of businesses within the Hollywood Entertainment District, please visit our website at hollywoodpartnership.com. Here you can find dining, shopping, attractions, and personal services. That concludes today's presentation. For a complete rundown of all the development activity within the area, again, visit the active development summary at the back of the report on pages 52 through 55. We are looking forward to welcoming our new president and CEO, Kathleen Rawson, later this month. I'd like to extend a huge thank you to Joshua Baum of Hillgard Analytics for leading the data research and analysis for this report. Uh, at this time, are there any questions? If there are, you'll have to um, raise your hand or take yourself off mute, or you can put it in the chat. Otherwise, you can always reach out to me at the email address on the screen, devin at hollywoodbid.org. And again, the report is available from our website, hollywoodpartnership.com under do business data and report section. So thank you all for your interest in Hollywood and have a great day.